Hi, this is Marianne, the senior tutor, and good morning. We are here with Mary Jean Vonderb- Vonderbrink, right? Right. Hi, how are you this morning? Um, just fine, thanks. So Mary Jean um, um, is a co-owner, right, of uh, Baystar Equicenter out of um, near Hamilton, Ohio, correct? Correct. Okay, tell us about yourself and... Tell us about uh, the Equicenter and what it is that you guys do and a little bit about um, you and Lonnie and and how you guys got started in this and all that good information. Yeah, my partner's Lonnie Sander, and we do equine-assisted therapy, um, and it can cover anything from psychotherapy, working with a mental health provider, to personal development, just learning more about yourself and others in a session, and we also have a application for business for leadership or communication basically um, anything that you can find in a self-help section of the library we can we can address Um, we you work with it's a non-riding program this has nothing to do with riding or or horseback riding or um, knowing horses at all it it kind of um, all everything's done with your feet on the ground what we do is bring the horses out and the horses have a innate ability to sort of mirror back human emotion. Um, you're asked to do a task with the horse. Um, there is no wrong or no right that you can do during the session with the horse. What happens and what develops during that session is what opens up the what we call aha moments. Makes people realize something about themselves or others that they have never possibly thought of before. Um, Works really well with addiction and substance abuse recovery. Um, We have a, we work with Lumiere Lumiere Healing Center. They bring a group um, of eight on Fridays. And um, so it works really well with that that population. Uh, We also have done programs with cancer survivors, um, school age uh, children. We worked with the Hamilton police in their frog program one year and brought at-risk kids out. Um, We've done board of directors sessions to get people on the same page with with, um, um, a a group of like-minded people. And sometimes you can point out the rule makers and the rule breakers and the the leaders and the followers in a session much more quickly than you can find that out in in an office setting or um, the, the, the horses sort of point that out so you're asked to do a task um it can be something as simple as go take the horse and take it to a place in the ring where it's most comfortable um and what happens let's say you have that as a as a a task go take the horse and put it where it's most comfortable you're gonna i'm gonna give you two scenarios the first one is the client walks up to the horse the horse kind of walks away from them. They kind of follow after. They kind of trot after. And the next thing you know, the horse is over on the other side of the arena playing with the hula hoops or something. And you bring that client back and you say, well, what just happened? And she says, well, I wanted him to go over and play with these balls, but I guess I really didn't realize he'd rather go over and play with the hula hoops. So it kind of just brings out something your expectations of people the next client comes in and the exact same thing happens the horse walks away from them just exactly the same and you say to that client what happened she goes well he walked away from me he doesn't like me well what do you mean he doesn't like me well nobody likes me my husband left me my kids don't talk to me and therefore opens up the dialogue for the therapy if there's a mental health person so it sort of opens up the, the, the dialogue that might have been underlying something else. Oh, that's really interesting. I have never heard of anybody doing this before. Is there anyone else in the area that even does this? You know, there's nobody around here. There are programs that do just being around a horse. There's a therapeutic value being around a horse and grooming a horse. Um, but it's not what, what we do. Um, this is much more directed and, and much more, um, um, it, it, it's more than just communicating with the horse. There's right. miniature therapy programs that bring miniature horses into places like nursing homes or schools. And the P- 
people get to play and pet with the horse and there's therapeutic value in that but there's nobody doing um we go by the gala model which is the equine assisted growth and learning association model but there's nobody around the greater cincinnati area that that does what we do that i know of at this point anyway that that's amazing that you guys do this and now um how long have you and Lonnie have do this together. Your partners in this. Um, right. She told me that you guys have known each other for ever. Yeah, thirty. <laughs> so how long have you guys been doing this together? As far as you know, bringing people in for that and whatnot. We started in um, two thousand nine, um, um, and the first year that in two thousand ten we just practiced and played around with it and really didn't start doing real sessions until two thousand eleven. I got into it very accidentally. Um, Lonnie and I had at one point ran a writing program for underprivileged kids. And through a relative, a sister-in-law had a niece that, had, that was from a very bad home life. And she started to be part of this program. Well, it turned out that I got custody of her when she was 15 years old. Um, her mom had passed away many years ago and alcohol was involved. And so she came to live with me when she was 15 and I took her to counseling week after week, after week, after week. And I mean, I'm not saying nothing happened, but you know, it just was kind of stagnant. And somebody said to me, have you tried equine assisted therapy? And I went, no, I never heard of it. And so I started looking up and doing research on it and the gala program was having a big convention down in Nashville, 10, uh, Nashville, Asheville, North Carolina. And I just thought I needed to go. I don't, I didn't have any money. It was very expensive. It was four days, but something drew me to go and, and do it. And I did. And it was a very, very eye opening, intense four days for me. And I came home and I, go to Lonnie, you know, Lonnie, we're not done. She says, what now? I said, we got to go get certified to do this equine assisted therapy. And she said, okay. I went, no, 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 I'm serious. And she said, okay, well, what do we have to do? Well, we have to take this training and, you know, well, where is it? Well, the next one's in Elgin, Illinois. And she said, okay. And the next thing you know, we're on our way to Elgin. And on the way back, we realized how powerful it was and decided at that point to go get the the follow-up certification. And um, so we have gone to several trainings and everything regarding that through the EGALA model. Um, EGALA has changed a little bit um, during during the years, but we're going by the original program that that we learned back in 2009 and 10 and that's kind of how it started it wasn't anything it was just sort of evolved and Lonnie and I then formed a LLC and so we started working then in 2010. So you already had the horses and the farm and, and, and all that already how yeah. long had you had? I've had the farm here I've got a, a boarding stable for the last 37 years and Lonnie boarded has boarded her horse with me and that's you know how we've known each other she used to take lessons from me years ago um so i mean i've, I've had the horses i've got a, a 16 stall barn i board 16 horses and um so we were using those horses and the the horses don't have to have any kind of training all they have to be is non-biters or non-kickers almost we always say every horse is a therapy horse. Some just freelance at it. Now, what personal pets do you have? We saw a cat jump through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a dog person. And right now I've got no dogs in the house and three cats. And I <laughs> don't really know how I ended up with three cats, but I have three cats in my house. <laughs> That's because cats find you. You don't go yeah. find cats. They, they usually find their owners. <laughs> What, one of them is Lonnie's mother's cat who went into, uh, was living in an assisted living and went, had to go to the hospital and I agreed to babysit it for a couple of days while mom was in the hospital and that was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> mom has since gone to heaven and the cat's still with me. So. <laughs> That's funny how that happens. You guys have a website. What is that website? 
Basedstarequicenter.com. Okay. And um, do you guys post any videos as far as just kind of updating about the animals right now with everything going on with the coronavirus or? Um, no, we haven't done anything about the coronavirus. I do have um, some slideshows to music of sessions to kind of show people what a session might look like. Um, on those cases, it's been like a personal development session, not really a psychotherapy session. Right. And uh, with their permission, you know, we get permission to, sure. use it, to use it. So there's a couple on there from veterans. Uh, we'd work with a, a veterans program from the VA hospital um, one year, and um, they, brought a, they brought a group out for several sessions, and then they – they lost their funding for it. So, but um, so there's there's videos and slideshows on on our website. On the website, okay. Um, so, obviously, like I said, we're not doing anything right now with with coronavirus going on as far as having clients or anything like that. Um, you know, I talked to you guys about helping you right now. I feel that while this is going on, that small businesses should absolutely be working on. Uh, marketing and, and growing their businesses so that when the ban lifts that they're you're in a much better position um, to continue doing business and so you and I talked about me helping you um, with some of that stuff and um, so everybody knows um, our next session that we're going to have uh, with Mary Jean I'm going to go out to the farm and we're going to practice social distancing and hopefully Mary Jean will introduce me to some of the horses and maybe uh, session. Pardon me? We'll put you through a little mini session. That would be amazing. I would absolutely love that. I, maybe I will learn something about myself that I had no idea um, was going on. No, okay. The only way you can really explain this is by experiencing it. It's very difficult to explain the impact that it can have on people until right. you actually experience it. Well, I am definitely looking forward to that. So, um, everybody take a, keep an eye out, um, uh, probably in about a week or so, um, we'll have another, um, video with Mary Jean. Maybe Lonnie can, jo um, join us at that time. If not, that's fine too. And, um, in the meantime, how do people get in touch with you if they want to, um, find out more information other than the website or to be able to maybe set up, um, sessions long, to, you know, maybe out to June or something when, when hopefully all this is done over with. Yeah, our website is uh, have has a whole lot of information on it, probably too much. <laughs> um, but the phone number is five one three seven three eight four four six three. You can call any time. We don't have hours. Um, you can call any time. If I, I'll call. I call right back if I happen to not answer. Okay, that sounds great. And they can go to the website, and I'm guessing your email and information is on there that they can reach you as well. Yep. Uh, you can go Mary Jean at BayStarEquiCenter.com for an email um, or Lonnie at BayStarEquiCenter.com, L-O-N-I. Okay. Right. And obviously, if people um, somehow don't manage to get that, they can reach me and I can forward you on to Mary Jean as well. So we thank you for being on and telling us about your amazing program. It just, it sounds wonderful. And I don't see how um, everybody could not benefit from, from using your service. So thank you for sharing that with the world and for letting us know about it and um, definitely how we can get a hold of you. So have a great day. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. -bye.